hi in this video I am going to uh, talk about what is a gain chart and how can uh, it be used for uh, uh, comparing the uh, performance of models statistical models this is also used for model monitoring purpose so I'll also talk about it how it can be used for model monitoring purpose so gain charts uh, gain chart basically uh, tells us how effective how effective uh, is the classification model um, in the credit risk industry if a uh, if a building a model statistical model in the credit risk industry you might have come across cases for uh, where you want to classify your customers okay as good customers and bad customers now this can well be replicated uh, in other industries but i'll take uh, the credit uh, risk industry uh, credit risk domain uh, to explain what is gain chart so when you're building a classification model using uh, you know a, a dependent variable which has got uh, good customers and bad customer you, you know for good customer you are sending it as one sorry for good it is zero and for bad it is one so we are building a model called a uh, probability of default okay so we want to know what is the probability of default and you know you used a classification uh, model like uh, logistic regression uh, linear discriminant analysis so use any one of these model uh, to build a classification model and now you have the probability score for all the customers that uh, that is there in your portfolio okay now how do you how do you know the model is performing good there of course uh, you know there are several other matrices which can well be used to uh, measure the uh, performance of uh, classification model uh, this is also known as a scoring model where because we are scoring each customer uh, you know by providing the customer a score in terms of the probability so this is also known as a scoring model so how do we construct or how do we build a gain chart out of these scores all we need is customer okay the number of customers okay customer 1 uh, let's say the score is 0.6 the probability right customer 2 is 0 0.7 customer 3.3 .3, and so on right so so we, we have scored all the customers with uh, uh, with a given probability of default score using uh, the model uh, using a statistical model okay now that we have this information in place what we can do is we just need to uh, find out the percentage of bad in each decile okay so i've got so what we do is that we sort uh, the portfolio with descending order of probability so we keep the highest probability at the top and you know and uh, so we, we just sort it in descending order with respect to the probability okay so the highest probability will be at the top okay now in the first decile decile means the 10 percent of the portfolio we just calculate what is the percentage of bad in this what is the percentage of bad uh, in this particular decile so how do you know percentage of bad so we just uh, you know assign a value of 1 and 0 based on a threshold value most people take threshold value uh, 0.5 as a threshold value so anyone with a score of greater than 0.5 is considered as uh, one when you are modeling for one of course and anything less than that is zero right so in the top 10 percentile or in the first decile what is the percentage of what is the percentage of uh, bad that you are finding okay now that we record and we do that for all the deciles okay first decile second decile third fourth of two the tenth decile and we also calculate the percentage of bad now ideal scenario is that in the first decile which is 10% of the population if we don't use a model 
you simply choose you know a good and bad with a toss uh, then you would be uh, ideally expecting 10% of the bad being captured but using the model let's say you are capturing 25% that means the model is doing better here right 25% uh, is any day better than 10% success right uh, next in the second decile of course it is going to go down so this will be like sort of a, a descending order but that's still better than the 10th percentile right and when you take the cumulative of that and draw a graph you will find the gain chart so let me explain what how do you construct a gain chart so in the in the x axis you just take the population percentage and the y axis take the percentage of bad a percentage captured now it can be any event right so we're taking the bad percentage here so take the first 10 10th percentile we just had 25 percent of the score right so we just put a point over here 10 20th percentile you know 25 plus 19 so that comes out to 44 somewhere like here and then here 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 and then you just connect these points okay now that's the gain chart but we, do, we also have to uh, you know we also have to draw a baseline chart here so baseline chart is nothing but the yellow, yellow line that you can see here so baseline chart is like ideally what one would be expecting in case uh, you do not use a model and simply choose uh, customers based on uh, a random uh, experiment okay like tossing a coin for instance so in that case your baseline graph will be at the 10 percent level so that's your baseline graph okay so the cumulative of the 10 percent 20 percent 30 percent 40 percent and so on whereas the gain chart should ideally be above the baseline chart for a model to to be uh, you know called as a good model so how do how do one use this chart for uh, you know comparing the performance of models so when you have multiple models you can uh, you know compare the performance okay now let the blue line is one and then let's say uh, the yellow line is another model so the one which is having or which is covering more area is the one which is better so here the blue one is is a better model it's because it's above the uh, yellow la yellow curve that's why it's performing better it has more area under under it um so how do one, how do we use this uh, for model monitoring what do you do is that uh, we have the gain chart for the development data and then uh, periodically right when the model is already in production we, on a periodic basis we get the data from uh, we get the current data right for instance if the model has been implemented on 1st of january 2016 and now it's being in use so we'll be getting data for uh, for february 2016 march 2016 and so on so on every month we will be getting data and we'll be scoring the data for probability of default now compare the probab uh, gain chart for month fa uh, month fave with month jan because jan data is being used as a uh, 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 considered as a uh, data which has been well validated so compare the data for fave the gain chart uh, for Feb and Jan, for March and Jan. So Jan is considered as a some kind of a reference point or reference uh, gain gain chart, and then compare your gain chart with that reference gain chart and see if it is consistent. It has to ideally it should be uh, overlapping on each other if if the data hasn't changed. If the gain chart is showing. Um, showing evidence of the fact that the area underneath the gain chart is coming down or it is decreasing over time then the model is not performing as expected in the beginning if it is going above the reference uh, gain chart then it is good there is nothing wrong with that but if it is if it is uh, you know uh, it is below the reference uh, gain chart then it is an issue and that has to be uh, you know uh, inform to the development team or monitoring team 
and then the model has to be recalibrated uh, i mean recalibrated or redeveloped so when you use uh, a statistical software it uh, directly gives uh, a gain chart you don't have to do it manually of course you can write a code and you can uh, do it uh, you can create a gain chart in a spreadsheet you can use sql also to do that uh, in SAS, you will be getting a gain chart, uh, something like this, the one you can see on your screen. This is a typical gain chart that you get. When you have multiple models, you will have multiple gain charts in place so that you can compare. Okay, You can compare multiple gain charts like this. And the baseline will also always be here. It's, it's always a straight line, 45 degree straight line. Okay, So, so that's about gain chart. Uh, just remember the fact that it is very useful for model monitoring purpose, especially in the credit risk industry where you use a number of scoring model or classification model. This is being used heavily for a monitoring uh, risk model. So this is one of the metrics uh, that is uh, being used uh, in, in this particular industry. Thank you.